We're about one hour south of Salt Lake City, outside the ghost town of Mercer. Nothing remains of the town, except for the cemetery. Just off of Highway 73, hidden at the top of a steep hill, is a collection of faded gravestones and old picket fences. Even in broad daylight, there's an immediate sense of unease once you find your way to the top. The town's history dates back to 1870, when gold was first discovered. Over the decades, it would become a ghost town as deposits dried up only to boom again when new deposits were found. In 1902, the town was almost lost in a fire. In the early 1980s, the last remnants of the town were finally destroyed by corporate mining companies and it is now closed to the public. The cemetery outside of town is all that's left. The last burial there was in 1913 and it contains about 100 graves, only a few marked by stones and picket fences. Not surprisingly, it's considered one of the most haunted places in the state. Perhaps most unsettling are the children. Due to the harsh conditions at the time, many of the graves belong to children and infants, giving the cemetery a very high concentration of child spirits. The dolls that decorate the cemetery are said to belong to the spirit of a little girl who likes it when people leave them as gifts. People have reported cold spots, shadowy figures in the bushes, orbs and phantasmagoric flames hovering at night, as well as the spirit of a phantom horseback rider. Most noticeable is a feeling of extreme unease, as if being watched and the sense that a force is actively trying to get you to leave as quickly as possible. Some of these phenomena have been blamed on the desert winds or the mineral deposits in the ground. Either way, if you visit Mercer Cemetery, be respectful and it might be a good idea to bring a doll for the children. <laughs> <laughs>